Hi everyone, this is JD, your gadget review friend. We're continuing to review and compare devices and you can check these updates on our Twitter community at GadgetRevNow. We just finished reviewing OnePlus 9 and how Hasselblad contributes to its camera performance and today we will review and appreciate one of the best phones that was created last year, the OnePlus 8. A lot of people, especially my viewers, who are a little skeptical about the new OnePlus 9. I mean, it looks better because of the Snapdragon 888, but if you're looking for a great performing phone minus the signature camera that performs as good as any other phones today, you're watching the right video. This is a review of OnePlus 8, a great phone without the fancy camera branding. Is it worth it? Hey, don't forget to subscribe, my friend. Let's go. Let's start with the design. It's a little bit outdated yet classic and premium. Unlike other phones today that you need to pay a lot yet only has a plastic back, shout out to Samsung S21. This is a typical premium classic design with Gorilla Glass protection sandwiching a sturdy aluminum frame. Checking the button placement, you have the power and mute slider on one side, microphone on top, volume buttons on the other side and sim card tray, charging port, microphone, and speakers at the bottom. The front glass has a punch hole selfie camera design located on the upper right that looks current and that large spill shaped camera module at the back with OnePlus logo below and OnePlus branding underneath it. The shiny glass is a little slippery and fingerprint magnet. For the price that you're paying for today, it's actually 599 Canadian dollars and it's not a lot given how premium the design is. This will beat some of the good phones today in terms of build quality. All in all, it has a premium design, a typical flagship built stunner that feels solid and expensive. Hey, just a side note, if you own OnePlus 8 or any phones you see on our channel, we're making more videos of these phones in the future. Please hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this. Next is performance. OnePlus in general is known to make flagship grade phones in a more affordable price tag, hence the moniker flagship killer. This phone is running Android 11 on their own skin, the Oxygen OS 11. Snapdragon 865 5G powers this phone with 8 to 12 gigs of RAM. Although Snapdragon 865 isn't the latest chipset today, it's still an overkill for a phone given that huge amount of RAM. This is easily one of the fastest phones today, even with Snapdragon 888 powering the newer OnePlus 9. Will you feel any difference? Well, not really. I run a Geekbench test and it scored 1127 on single core and 3653 in multi cores. If you want speed comparison, it is as fast as Samsung Note 20 Ultra and Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro of last year. I was able to play Mobile Legends, GTA, and Call of Duty in high to ultra performance. Light games such as Subway Surfer and Temple Run are blazing fast. I have no issue opening apps, streaming services, and using it for calls, text, and camera use. It has a healthy 128 to 256 gigs of storage on UFS 3.0 for faster read and write. Oxygen OS is stepping away a little bit from stack Android experience. This is a skinned Android with significant change in fonts and app icons. To sum up, it's a flagship grade specs with a heavy skinned UI that is fast and reliable. Next is the screen. The screen is a 6.55 inch fluid AMOLED with punch hole selfie camera with 88% screen to body ratio. The colors are accurate and has deep blacks. It's a great AMOLED panel where you don't see screen bidding on the side. It also has 90Hz refresh rate that is perfect for gaming because it's super responsive to touches and also HDR10 Plus compliant. It has a tall 20 by 9 aspect ratio and that aspect ratio is good for reading, multi windows and full screen videos. It also has 1100 nits of max brightness that is super bright for outdoors. You will see everything on direct sunlight. It is as good as the AMOLED panel you will see on Samsung S21 and Note 20 Ultra. All in all, it's an awesome AMOLED screen that is bright, buttery smooth and vibrant. Next is the sound, and the sound is great. DxO Mark actually marked this with a score of 69, which is one point higher than OnePlus 8 Pro. It has a dual speaker setup, but without a headphone jack. I tested this with a Pixel 3 XL, and here's the test.
The sound is good and has full bass. You will love it. Next is battery life, and the battery of this phone is stellar. It has 4300 mAh that will be enough for a day of use and can be extended to 2 days depending on your usage. I was able to play 2 and a half hours of gaming, 1 Netflix movie, 2 hours of music, another hour for social media, and occasional use for calls, text, and camera use, and still have more than 20% at the end of the day. The battery can easily last you 2 days of moderate usage. With the included 30 watts warp charger, I was able to charge the phone from 0 to 50% in 30 minutes. Changing 5G to LTE and 90Hz to 60Hz will give a phone a big boost in battery life. It was one of the best phone I tested in terms of battery life. And lastly, the camera. It has a triple camera set of a 48 megapixel main, 610 megapixel ultra wide, and 2 megapixel macro lens. I just wish they added a telephoto instead of a macro lens, which will be more usable for most of the shooting situation. The main sensor produces great still images in well lit condition. It is sharp and natural looking. There's a bit of complaints about the phone's camera performance, but now that OnePlus 9 is out and having some white balance issues, personally, I would rather spend my money buying OnePlus 8 and wait for the next OnePlus phone and skipping OnePlus 9 family altogether. It produces good, natural, and sharp photos. It's when you shoot low light that you might see a little dip in performance. Still images I get from low light shots are decent. Nothing to complain about for its price point. Videos can record 4K up to 60 FPS with gyro EIS or electronic image stabilization. Videos are good especially in good lighting condition. If you want to check our full detailed camera comparison of this phone and other phones, you can check it under Gadget Rev Now Camera Comparison Playlist. To sum up, it's a dual camera setup with a gimmicky macro lens that takes decent shots. So what is Gadget Rev Now's verdict? OnePlus 8 in 2021. OnePlus 8 is a great phone last year because of its fast performance and a good price tag and even better this year with a discounted price tag. I think you can buy this for almost half of its price, currently being sold under 500 US dollars. I will not recommend this to people who absolutely need the best camera phone out there. It's a decent shooter but not the best. Also at around $500, there might be a better alternatives for Chinese brands. And I will recommend this to anyone who loves OnePlus phones because of its sheer performance, who wants a bright AMOLED screen and a big battery with super fast charging available. I have a speed comparison test on my channel but I'm adamant to compare OnePlus 8 and OnePlus 9 for one reason. I strongly feel we will waste our time, my time as a tech reviewer and your time as a viewer because there might be just a difference of 0.1 second, even half a second for just opening and reopening of apps. Real talk. If someone will comment that there's enough reason to upgrade in terms of performance, that will be super awkward because I don't want to burn few hundred dollars for half a second difference. OnePlus 8 still feels like OnePlus flagship today minus the new look and camera branding. No hassle blad, no problem. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. We're posting videos of gadget reviews, comparisons, photography gears, and tips. The goal of this channel is to review and compare devices as simple as possible, concise, and friendly. Don't forget to drop your comment, like, and share. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.